one. Hey everybody, welcome back to more PN03. I have a new mission, a new suit, blah blah blah. But I also have a brand new guest here with me. Uh, hey, hey, who are you? Hello, hello, this is Haberman. I've played Haber this game before. You, you are probably one of uh, one of two guests that I'll have that have ever actually touched this. I don't remember uh, most of it. I play <laughs> I've, I've played it once years I ago. Don't, I really sincerely doubt anybody remembered this game, but I guess uh, I, I, we almost skipped over the very important plot of this particular mission. Uh, we have to destroy what could or could not be a train. We, uh, the most we could get out oh, of dude, our... Dude, congratulations on clearing that room. It's that fun. was, it was a difficult room. Like they say, you know, every journey of a thousand steps, of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and that was the first one you just took, so good it's, on you for it. It seems very similar to one of many steps that we have taken in the past. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> but, I mean, out, outside of that very uh, similar room, we do have what appears to be a brand new environment. You which... could call it that. It's very, it's very brown, which we've seen that color palette before. But I mean, it there's a cityscape. It it gives the impression that there might be life outside of Vanessa and uh, robots. That's right, because like every other level has taken place in like a desert or a hidden industrial complex inside of a desert. So like, this is like the first one that we actually think like, oh, maybe like she isn't the last human left alive, versus like an unstoppable horde of machines. Yeah, which I I don't know if it's actually I don't know if it's been brought up in the game directly yet, but this robot force is called CAMS. And that means fuck all. I'm sure it's an acronym for something. More more importantly though, I I don't know where that robot came from. That C Rose I was, was, I was just... waiting for it to telefrag you because it spawned directly like inside of you. Back in the Doom days you would have just instigived right there. <laughs> It just gave me a gentle nudging, well, and I, I guess I, I I should point out that even though these enemies do look similar to things we that have been fought before, they have similar machine guns. They actually are a relatively brand new enemy because they have a new attack, which I don't show off just yet. But we will be seeing it later. It's sort of like the level design, where it's like, oh, it's new level design. Does it really? Well, it's like the old one, except we put a new, like, we put a layer of dirt on it. That's different, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, they they allow you to fill in gaps in the story for yourself. I mean, like, what are these glass tubes? Or How they did used this for, room get so dirty? Were they used for experiments? Did... Who knows? <laughs> maybe the they're just there for cover. Oh, maybe, wait, that's... Maybe they're part of a deep lore that you just didn't read into, you, you plebe. I I am a massive plebe from Sicily, <laughs> but yeah I I don't know I want to say that maybe there was like some deep massive story that got lost in the design process, but I don't think there was. They just winged but it. That's your theory. They they went with like not even like the B squad, but like the C squad at like Capcom, and they were like, we're running out of time. We need to pop a game out for this Capcom 5 thing, and they're just like, well, we have a tech demo for Corridors. I'm like, Wait, All right, hold on. Man. I think you're old enough to figure it out. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, there, what does that mean? <laughs> well, there, there's the old saying about, you know, when it's time to leave the nest, the, the mama bird will put a door in front of the baby. Put two and doors, the, and they gotta if, pick the right one. Yeah, one door leads to hell, one door leads to heaven, and I I think like the answer I got from Ricky Gervais was something about like you ask Satan like what what's real, and say I remember like, that episode of the podcast. Yeah, this shit just got real. <laughs> How old is Vanessa anyway? Because she says you're old enough, and I'm I'm assuming based on my knowledge of uh, anime and manga. That old mm -hmm. enough, like to be the protagonist of like a video game or anime, is like fifteen or sixteen. So is that like a safe guess? Uh, she, might a, she might be. She might be a Sunadre. Is that what they? <laughs> I think the, so. I don't. I don't. I think I always mentally picture it as like the Japanese milf. 
But I also think it's just like a general term for like a bitchy woman. Which I guess makes sense because in Japanese culture, the older you get and you remain unmarried as a woman is like a curse. And it becomes like uh, like the movie Juwan, where you become like a like a creepy monster. ghost ghost cricket yeah. thing. Uh, that was, that's actually that's another game I I don't know I've been wanting to play. The one for I Wii, right? Yeah, and it's be I don't know I've heard awful things about it, but there are a handful of videos on YouTube which refer to it as the scariest game ever made in all caps with like scare cams as the video thumbnail. So yeah. I don't know if you can top those performances. I don't know if it's... you can beat that naturalism that they bring to the table when they cover games. It's really hard because I feel like I'm always behind on the curve that is YouTube because I still don't know how these people magically get like their face in the thumbnail because all I can do is get like the, you know images from the video itself. I feel like they purposely at the at some point in the video for like a split microsecond just like a subliminal image they put in their face terrified of like a baby There's a custom Slenderman. thumbnail feature just so you know. No, there's not. Ever. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I remembered incorrectly. You did. Like, <laughs> you, YouTube is still a mysterious thing. Full of wonder. Also, we're playing this game in 2006 while it's still not even relevant by this point, actually. Dude, Dude if... If... if I, I know most people probably don't realize it, but if you actually went out of your way to look up any other... PN03 videos out there because obviously there is just a roving bloodthirsty <laughs> horde of people wanting to play this game for the internet uh, you would see that I probably have like the best quality which is, I mean because the rest of them were recorded in 2003 when this game was still relevant yeah I will say I haven't been able to find like a camcorder LP of this or anything but this is definitely the best you're, that most people are actually going to see this game ever played. They're not going to see, like, in the other playthroughs, you won't see this, like, showing off, like, there's this a city in the clouds, I think, maybe. Yeah, I, well, I was trying my best there to show off, like, at least the different camera angles, so I could, like, look down at the smog, I guess. But... Maybe this is New Jersey. Maybe we're in fucking Jersey right now, and it's fucking city in the smog clouds. The, the loveliness of Tromaville or Newark. You know, it's funny, because assuming this is a level in the clouds, the, they should clouds are white. This room, and any other level in the game would be white. Is this a dirty-ass level? That's yeah, cool. I... Well, I think by the time we get to the end, we will find out that there is a deeper meaning in that this level is actually metaphorical to the Industrial Revolution oh. and, oh. And, ma and Manifest Destiny. Because, They're bringing layers I didn't even think they would think of. That's yeah, impressive. because we, we've we already been brought up with the idea that at the end there's going to be a possible train. And what made Western expansion in the U.S. possible? Trains. What, Dude, you're what, blowing my fucking mind right now. <laughs> what killed the Red Man? Trains. And Obviously, who made the trains run on time? Stalin. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what Put killed more... Put the pieces together, sheeple. God. Yeah. What what killed more coolies? Uh, dynamite? Shadow warrior? No, it was trains. <laughs> Fucking We're terror train. trains. We're gonna play a train at the end of this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there there's the, the Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, I think it was made in the 80s. Terror train? Oh, God. I th That's right. <laughs> I, th I actually think David Copperfield was in that. The, so the queen of scream yeah sadly i i don't know she did she didn't really do it for me <laughs> but uh actually we're we're in what is actually the final room they decided uh hey you needed a refill and you need a big ass empty room so but it's it's now time for uh the boss fight i like this and cut scene. this cut scene is amazing Especially since they... I, I think I just noticed, but she has like these weird zippers on her nipples, which is weird. It's a plug suit. But, like, why I mean, is she standing there? Like, does she realize? Like, like, oh no, the train's coming. Now I better jump, I guess. Why didn't you just walk off the tracks? Why were you I, standing in the middle of the tracks? I can pretty much 
As far as I've been able to see, because I still haven't completed the game yet, but I'm pretty sure every cinematic in the game has her flipping. It's like the twin snakes all over again. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I guess I want to say there's like a strategy to this, but as far as I've been able to tell, um, this poor tortured train that's stuck in this room is the easiest fucking thing ever because... Easier just, than the boss you two hit it. Yeah, just, just don't run out into the arena. You're fine. These projectiles, uh, I do get hit by one soon, and that's mostly because I'm still kind of incompetent at this game. Uh, but yeah, there's no real danger here outside of unless the train actually hits you, and then you're just dead. Which I cut out because that did happen. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, get, uh, well, I guess I should... It's easy to understand how you die to this fucking threat, this, this tough enemy right here. Well, I did try to make it interesting, other than <laughs> standing by the door. But yeah, I, I should quickly point out, uh, this was called Orchid. There you go. But yeah, I, wa I want to thank Haberman for uh, for joining me for this update. You're welcome. What does regular? Does regular mean like, you, like regular, like, oh, you're a regular at this, you're great. Or does it mean like, uh, regular performance? Means, means I shit myself.